Hello and welcome Leo. I am Pisces Intuition here with your weekly reading. So we are going to go ahead and start off. We're just going to see what comes out this week. What are the messages you need to know or you need to hear? Um, if you're not resonating with this, then you know this message may not be for you this week. All right, Leo. All right, so Leo, we have some triumphant success here. So we're going to set that there. All right. All right, so Leo's, what I'm getting for that is um, this could be the week that you kind of start cutting things out of your life that are just not doing you any good on the path that you are on. Um, okay, speaking of success, I was getting ready to say, um, you know, being successful in possibly communication, receiving communication you've been waiting for, um, you know, figuring out a problem, like I said, kind of um, cutting away the cloudiness, kind of revealing, you know, like I said, truth or revealing the answer to a problem. Um, again, you know, triumphant success. Then we have the Six of Wands. So you're showing up as the Six of Wands, you know, someone who's very victorious, someone who could possibly be in the public eye. Um, this is someone who, you know, it's kind of like all eyes on me this week. Okay. All right, bottom of the deck, we do have this Ace of Pentacles as well. So the Ace of Pentacles, that is talking about, you know, a brand new beginning. That is talking about starting something solid, starting something that you can build on. Now, the problem could be this King of Wands here. So this is kind of figuring out either how to take action to pursue some passions. Um, this could be talking about kind of taking control, possibly releasing. Control is where you need to kind of look at. Um, you know, we will definitely get more into that. Uh, current, <laughs> currently in your environment, we do have the judgment card. So again, for some of you, I'm getting that this is kind of about a relationship issue and you've been waiting to hear from, um, some communication from somebody and it's like you get that communication and, you know, things kind of take off from there. You possibly get a second chance with this person. Um, you know, just feeling, like I said, very successful, very kind of like, and, you know, like, okay, they, they're finally acknowledging, you know, things that you've been doing to kind of get their eye, to get their attention. And then they're finally decided, okay, you know, let's communicate, let's go ahead, let's talk about this. Um, and like I said, that kind of leads to a second chance here for you. Um, for others of you, this could be, um, just like figuring out a problem that's really kind of been weighing on you. It's like you finally figured it out. You're able to kind of just move forward, move on, release that stress. And, you know, you are able to kind of make a big decision from there. Um, now here with the, the problem and the solution here, we do have the Page of Swords. Um, like I said, we have the problem being the King of Wands. So the King of Wands sometimes... You know, he lets his passion kind of blindside him. He lets it get the better of him um, to where he kind of loses focus. You know, the Page of Swords is kind of reminding to bring that focus back to kind of, um, you know, look at the overall situation. This is also talking about bringing in communication where possibly there was none. Like I said, if this is talking, if this is you wanting to pursue some passions, wanting to kind of take control or like I said, needing to release some kind of control here, you know, this is definitely figuring a way how this is figuring out, you know, again, a solution to the problem here. Um, now for the outcome, we do have the Queen of Wands. So now with the Queen of Wands, you know, this is, you know, you um, showing up as being confident, showing up as feeling like, you know, I hold the attention of everybody in this room. You know, I'm going to get my way. Um, and, you know, not in an egotistical, like, you know, maniacal type situation. Like, you know, you're not going to get all crazy with it or anything. It's just like you got that confidence back. It's like, you know, you figured out this problem that's kind of been weighing on you. And it's like, okay, I know what I need to do. And so, you know, it's like with that confidence, it's just like, you know, shining this bright light, you know, that's just kind of radiating off of you. And everybody's taking notice. Everybody, like I said, it's going to be, 
you're, it's like you're in the public eye. People are really kind of taking notice of you this week. And like I said, it's just, you know, it's mostly due to you having that courage, knowing what it is that you want to do, knowing how to proceed and knowing, you know, that you, you've got this. Like I said, this is all about you feeling good about this triumphant success here. Because it feels like, you know, here recently, you know, there's, and I have to say, this feels like more of with a person. This could be a job situation. This could be kind of finances, you know, um, really kind of feeling like you were stuck in a hole, trying to dig yourself out, figuring out how are we going to, or, you know, how am I going to, um, <clears throat> you know, pay bills or survive, you know, or um, whatever the case is as far as financials kind of being strapped. And then it's like you getting this either idea or getting, um, you know, some kind of clarity or something coming in that really kind of lifts that weight off of you. And you're able to kind of move forward and say, okay, you know, this is how this is going to work out. And it does. It works out. And so that takes that weight off of you, you know, and you're feeling really good about it. For others of you, this is about a situation with a person. You know, it could be a past relationship, like I said, because it does feel like somebody here is waiting on communication, um, it does feel like you get that communication. They do acknowledge, like I said, you know, all the things that you've been doing to try to catch their eye, try to get their attention. You know, they're finally like acknowledging it. And so they bring in communication. You know, you guys are talking, you're getting that second chance with this person. Um, we do have the king and queen of wands here. So, you know, again, it, cause it feels like somebody was kind of waiting on somebody. And so they decided to either take a chance and make the move and bring in, you know, communication, or it's like the other person finally notices the things, um, that they've been doing to get their attention. And therefore that brings in communication. Either way, communication is coming in from this person, from your past. Um, but it feels like, you know, like I said, you guys are just kind of, you know, the passion is relit. You know, there is this strong bond of chemistry between you guys. Um, somebody could have been kind of keeping an eye on somebody else's social media, just kind of seeing what they're up to. Um, but it feels almost like you could have been blocked here for a while or something, Leo. Hmm. But yeah, but it was definitely kind of feeling stuck, you know, kind of mourning that loss, really not seeing, um, seeing any hope, you know, that there was going to be a second chance. But, you know, as you see, you know, as always, there's these two cups, you know, behind him here. And, you know, he sees the three cups that are just kind of knocked over, you know, disheveled. And he's focusing on that. He's focusing on regret. He's focusing on loss, you know, mourning that. And, you know, like I said, in reality, there's some positive things here, but he's just not seeing them because he's too wrapped up in, you know, in the negative emotions right now, you know, to see that there's still something positive. There's still hope for this relationship. There's still hope for the situation. And that's what it really feels like to me is no matter if you're looking at this from um, a financial point of view or, you know, if this um, relationship is resonating with you, you know, this is the main thing for me is that, you know, it's like, there's hope. It's like where you thought it was just completely done. You're not seeing any hope. You know, there is hope here. You know, you may have had, you know, you could have been very defensive, you know, thinking, like I said, that, you know, this is over. I need to move on. You know, I'm building my walls up. Um, but this is definitely, like I said, having, you know, feeling kind of defensive, kind of, you know, trying to protect yourself. But at the same time, you know, you're thinking there's no hope. The situation is done. It's over. But in reality, there is hope. There is still hope coming in. There is a second chance. Communications coming in. Like I said, you know, bottom of the deck here, that ace of pentacles, you know, brand new beginning, you know, it's kind of, you know, forming that solid, steady foundation here. All right. So let's go ahead and let's take an oracle card for Leo. So Leo, definitely if this is about finances, if this is about a relationship, um, either way you go, there's definitely going to be some success here. So that is always a plus. So it just feels like you've really kind of been having, um, you know, a hard time here lately. Okay. All right. So Leo, we have um, I did take the magician in the mirror. This is just kind of, this is you making things happen. Um, and then the ones that popped out was rest and rejuvenation, the sun, door to romance, 
and man holding a heart. So this is kind of someone finally finally acknowledging their emotions, their feelings towards you, realizing, you know, the the chemistry between you guys, the bond between you guys. You know, the sun card, you know, that light at the end of the tunnel, that happiness, that emotional abundance, you know, feeling just really good with this person. Um, you know, resting and rejuvenation. It just kind of feels like that's what's been going on with you, Leo. You know, there's some cloudiness. There's some things that you needed to do, possibly meditate, just rest up, you know, rejuvenate, kind of, you know, just bring Bring yourself up, you know, to after, you know, vacation or a break or something, you know, in order to get that triumphant success. Like I said, it just felt like you needed to kind of step away from a situation, whether it be financial, whether it be from this relationship, there needed to be kind of a break, kind of a pause in order for you, like I said, to come back and fully be successful. Door to romance, like I said, there's some romance going on this week. Um, definitely could be someone from your past. You know, could be someone new. I'm getting more someone from your past. Um... But like I said, door to romance either way. All right, so now let's go ahead and let's take a romance angel. Okay. And we have worth waiting for. So divine timing is at work in your love life. And with this being the king of um, wands here and the queen of wands underneath here, you know, that's a power couple. So definitely, like I said, you know, worth waiting for. Maybe the timing was just kind of off at the, you know, at this certain part when you guys were together the first time. But, you know, definitely worth waiting for. It does look, like I said, communication is going to be coming in. Things are going to, you know, kind of light that spark back and take off this week for you. Um, you know, someone kind of comes through, you know, revealing their emotions after taking, you know, look in the mirror and just kind of making things happen, realizing what it is that they want. So kind of doing some reflecting here. So, all right. Well, Leo, that is what I have for you for this week. I do hope this helps your situation. I look forward to seeing you guys again soon. So have a great rest of the week.